everybody, it's Deb from d, &D Art Gallery. Today I have a 12 by 16 inch Da Vinci Pro Panel Ultra Smooth Gesso Panel. Um, it is wood and it has a little lip on the edge that I've taped up just underneath that lip. As you can see, I've put down um, a base coat and we'll go over all my paints. Today I'm going to do a traveling open cup, uh, dirty cup pour. One of my favorite pours to do. So my base coat is a combination of the Rust-Oleum Metallic Accents White Pearl and Champagne. Mostly the Champagne, but I just wanted to lighten it up a little bit, so I added some of this White Pearl to it. And my next color is, again, the Rust-Oleum Metallic Accents, and this is the Bronze Metal. There's the color, Bronze Metal. And the next one is the Rust-Oleum Metallic Accents Gold Mine. Real pretty gold color. And again, the same type paint, uh, Rust-Oleum Metallics in the Ruby. I love this Ruby Red color and ameth amethyst that this is the first time i'm using this color in the rustoleum metallic accents line my last color is a uh, folk art color shift blue flash we're going to use a, a flash color in there today pouring medium is my normal two parts uh, floetrol one part paint squirt a gack 800 and about a teaspoon of the Liquitex Gloss Medium was added. No silicone added today. So let's get started. And I'm going to put my cup starting right up here on this corner, I think. And I will add a little more of the base coat around the cup just to help it move. And if you've seen some of my other videos on the traveling cup, you know, sometimes you have to add or um, you, you have to help that cup along. It doesn't want to move on its own. A lot of other artists have done this uh, type of pour also. So I'm going to start with the blue flash. And I'm just going to be putting the paints in there. No particular order. A lot of metallics going on here today. And here's that pretty ruby color. And there it is starting to move. You can see the paint coming out the outside there on the edge and I'll just keep filling that cup and watching watching as it travels trying to guide it here and there just going to tip the canvas a little bit here. Just to get it to move a little bit. Tip it some more. I hope your day is going well. I really do like this line of Rust-Oleum metallic accent paints. Um, 
these paints I purchased from a, a it's a chain store called Menards. It's like a big, huge uh, chain hardware store, but I, I believe they do have them at um, Lowe's, maybe Home Depot. I'm thinking they do. So I'll tip the cup a little bit this way. back and I'll get it I'll help it move here just kind of letting that paint out as I move the cup And I also like painting on these pro panels also. Um, normally I um, let's see, I don't I'm not sure if I'll use varnish or how I'll finish this off, but I do want it to be shiny, that's for sure. Okay, I'm going to tip the cup, just tip the painting a little more here. Let the cup move. And move it a little more. These colors are very rich and they have this line of paints has quite a few different colors. This this uh this big jar that I got here of the uh the white, the pearl white, this cost about $24, but it it lasts a long 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 time. But they also have um these smaller the little smaller jars that I showed you they're almost like sample jars and I think that th those are under four dollars three dollars and some odd cents I want to say or maybe four dollars but not much more than that so I purchased quite a few of the small ones just to see what colors I really like and experiment with. You can tip it up this way a little bit. And move it that way. I'm going to use all my paints up here today. I'm sure that you can buy these paints also online. They're just very rich, rich in color. It's the last of the color shift there also blue and 
and I have a little bit of this ruby left. Okay. Now I'm going to tip it my way just a little bit. Turn it this way so you can see. Just trying to cover more of the canvas here. And then I'll move it back. And then I will just let it go like that. Very pretty. I think what I may do too before I start tipping is I'm going to move my paint just a little bit with this skewer here just to mix it up a little bit. Not a whole lot, just a little bit. And I'll torch. And if I do get cells, it's from the flow trawl. I will start tipping. Let's see what we get here. So far I'm just really liking these colors. And I'm going to let it run off the edge here. And bring it back. Just taking a look at it. And I'll take a little bit off on this edge also. But I do want to leave a little bit of that red up in that corner. going just to bring it straight down now. Just over that corner and bring it back. Very, very beautiful painting. What I'm going to try and do is just pull a little bit of this purple down, but I love that gold, so I'm going to try and keep that gold. Okay. Now bring it down this way. Okay, now I'm gonna take another look at it. I'm just going to bring a little bit of it off down at this end. And bring it back. Just 
just stretching it out a little bit. See, that purple is very beautiful. And I'm going to go straight down here. Just take a little bit more off maybe in that middle. Okay, and I'm going to bring it back. Okay, and I'm getting pretty happy with it. Very happy with it. And I even left just a little corner of negative space up here. I'll show it to you. Right in this upper corner here. It's my base coat. Just check my sides here. I only have to make sure that the corner's covered and that little lip is covered on all the edges. And I think I'll torch it again. Really loving the purple, the gold, and that ruby. Just beautiful. Let's give it a torch. And I'm going to get you down for a close-up. Okay, this is the upper left-hand corner. Just beautiful with the ruby and the purple. This is the lower left-hand corner. I'll take you up the middle here. There's some of that, the color shift there that came through. Very pretty. I got some lacing, which is exciting right in there with the gold and the color shift. And there's that, uh, negative space right there in the upper right hand corner. I'm hoping that you can see that this is um, very shiny with all the metallics. So pretty. And this is the lower, lower right hand corner here. So let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Make sure you share it, that's important. Ring the bell, choose all, so you'll know the next time that I do post a new video. And uh, subscribe if you haven't, that would be great. Until next time, take care everybody. Bye for now.